Tonight, a security guard talks to WUSA 9 after a scary night in downtown D.C. last week. Get this, he was stabbed four times while working near Gallery Place, and now he's hoping to use this incident to create some sort of change. I do imagine what he went through. This mm -hmm. all happened on December 11th on 6th Street in Northwest. It's next to the Cap 1 Arena. Our Leslie Moreno is live there tonight, and she spoke to that security guard. Leslie, first, how is he doing, and what's the latest on this investigation? Simone, D.C. police made an arrest on Monday, so he's glad the person who did this to him is finally behind bars. That security guard uh, says this all happened in a matter of seconds tonight. He tells me, uh, as you can imagine, he's still dealing with the physical pain and the emotional trauma. Curtis Howell has worked as a security guard for over 25 years. Last week, he nearly lost his life. Thank God that I'm still living. You know, um, I, I fought for my life. I was literally fighting for my life. On December 11th, he was working his normal shift at Gallery Place when he noticed 32 year old Landon Jordan on surveillance cameras attempting to break into his car. Curtis walked towards Jordan, demanding him to leave. Remove yourself from the vehicle. And as I was telling him that, he sprinted towards me, sprinted directly towards me, and when he came in front of me, it seemed like he punched me in my stomach, but it was actually a knife. Curtis fought back, but was stabbed four so times in the diaphragm. We have to warn you, the images of his wounds may be graphic. Curtis says the incident still haunts him. I still have the flashbacks of when he was charging towards me. I still have dreams about somebody charging at me. Curtis says um, another security um, guard saw the attack and pulled him inside to safety. D.C. police arrested Jordan on Monday, a week after the incident. Curtis believes this could have been prevented had he been allowed to carry protection. I think we should carry firearms. I think we should have vests um, and, and batons, you know, for situations just like that. I knew this was bound to happen, just a matter of time. Curtis will be making a full recovery. However, after this incident, he's not sure if he's going to be returning back to work. He did say uh, the security company he works for did cover all his medical and hospital bills. But again, unless something changes in terms of protection and safety, he says he will likely uh, not be returning back to work. Guys, it was chilling to hear him say that he felt like something like that could happen to him and then and then it did. Lo and behold, we're certainly hoping the best for him. Leslie, thank you.